Hey guys, I'm Mel and today I'm going to do the mid-year book freakout tag. So I know it's not mid-year anymore, but I haven't done this tag and I was tagged by Nock from Happy Comes First and by Julia from Julia Talks Too Much and this tag was created by Chami from Read Like Wildfire and Ellie from Ellie Jane. So yeah, question one. Best book you've read in 2015? Without a doubt, The Wrath and the Dawn by René Adier. This book has everything, it has amazing world building, beautiful writing, brilliant character development, amazing characters, soon worthy romance. It has everything and I just fell in love with it as soon as I read it. Even though I read some amazing thing this year, the time goes by and I can't stop thinking about The Wrath and the Dawn, so, so that is my favorite book so far this year. Best sequel you've read so far in 2015? The Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve Water. And I finally read The Raven Cycle this year and it's such an amazing series. And The Dream Thieves, I think, is my favorite book of the three books that are out right now um, because Ronan is one of my favorite characters and he has so much character development in that book. Question number three. New release you haven't read yet, but you want to. For this one, I'm going to go with Gypsy Girl by Catherine James. This is a book that I've heard a lot about and I think I'm going to really, really like it. I, I can't wait to read it. It's it sounds so good. Um, definitely up there in my TBR. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year, Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. I've been waiting for this book for so long. I, I don't know what to do. I'm rereading the entire series right now and I don't know what else to do uh, except for waiting here for that book to come out. I just have so high expectations, biggest disappointment. This one is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. It's not the worst book that I've read this year, but I had so high expectations for this book. I heard amazing things. I, it had so much hype and I normally don't let the hype get me. This book was such a disappointment. It was not what I was expecting. The world building was horrible and it was something I've read a thousand times before. I lacked originality. It was just a mediocre book. Biggest surprise. A Mad Wicked Folly by Sharon Biggs Waller. And I knew I was going to love this book but I didn't know that it was going to be one of my favorites this year. This book had everything. I love a book with, you know, at the beginning of the 20th century with a girl who defies the norm and everything but this book just blew my mind it was so beautiful so yeah it was a super big surprise for me to absolutely fall in love with that book favorite new author debut or new to you i'm trying not to repeat the answers apart from all the books that i loved this year a new author that i found out that it was one of my favorite authors this year is Gurney Summer. She writes cruel, raw books that are so intense and so important in our society for everybody to read. All the Rage was one of the most brutal books I've ever read and she doesn't sugarcoat anything. She writes real books. Newest fictional crush and this is like literally one of the last books that I've read and, and that is Roth from the Dark Elements series. He's a demon and as we know I love bad guys. I fall in love with you know um, commander of sector 45 and assassins and and you know the sarcastic shadow hunter and and you know high lords from the night court I'm really in love with the demon now Nira's favorite character I don't do a lot of favorite characters because a character has to have a lot of things for it to be a favorite of mine the last favorite character that I discovered this year was Gemma Doyle from the Gemma Doyle trilogy. If there is something I love about the character is character development, growth and you know self-improvement. She became one of my favorite characters. Book that made you cry. Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. So I read this book for the first time 
this year and I've already read it twice. This is my favorite backlink cover and one of my favorite books that I've read this year. And um, this has a love triangle but it's done really really well. It's real and it's intense and it's really sad at some point and I cried both times that I read it. Book that made you happy. Aristotle and Dante discovers the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Lillerson. This has to be there. It just filled my heart with happiness. You know, Ari and Dante are happiness, you know, are beautiful and I could read about them forever because they make me so happy. Favorite book to film ad adaptation you saw this year? This is going to sound weird, but it's The Duff. When I read The Duff, I had so much fun reading that. I thought it was a really cool book because it was really sarcastic and it gave a, re a real twist to the normal contemporary books that we always read. You know, Becca is such a cool character. The movie was really funny. And I haven't watched a lot of book to movie adaptations. Favorite video you've done so far this year? Without a doubt, is diversity in books. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, and I'm probably going to do a lot of discussions like that. Yeah, it was really important for me to make it. And, and I always want to talk about things like that. And, and I always want to discuss about important things like that. And I always want to use this platform to not so only to talk about, you know, fictional crashes, but I, I want to use this to talk about important things. Most beautiful book you bought so far this year, and that is The Queen of the Tierling by Erika Johansson. And this is not a book that I enjoyed that much. It was fine. I like the political intrigue. It's so aesthetically beautiful. But in terms of beauty, it's probably my favorite that I bought this year. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? I have to read so many books by the end of the year, you have no idea. Winter by Marisa Mayer, Queen of Shadows, of course, by Sarah J. Maas, uh, Library of Souls by Ransom Ray, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I want to read Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. I want to read more books about feminism and I want to read uh, graphic novels. So if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments. So yeah, those are all the questions. I'm going to talk. Megan from Love and Right, Clarice from Clarice Reads, Rachel Hobson and what, Hidden Dwarf. And if you haven't done this tag, do it. And that is everything for today. Hope you have a great day. Hope you liked it. If you did, subscribe. And I will see you when I see you. Bye.